All right, let's say you're doing a search in Matrix and you can't quite figure out uh, how to add an additional field for the specific term that you want. For example, let's say I'm looking for a property that has a fence. So I'm going to open up my search and I'll just go ahead and open up my search here. And down at the very, very bottom, I have the ability to add in additional fields. So I can click on add and it has all of the different categories in matrix here. However, I just can't type in what I want because fence is under a specific category and that is what I would need to add to my search. So let's imagine you have a keyword in mind that you're looking for. You know it's in a field, but you're not sure how to go and get it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use the listing form as kind of like a cheat sheet to help you find any field that goes with a specific piece of criteria. So I'm gonna go back here and you can find this really easily right on the homepage of Matrix. So when I click on home, go to your link section, wherever that is in the first column, second column, third column, remember your widgets might be in different places and you're gonna see a link here for listing forms. So I'm gonna want the one that's appropriate for my search. So if I'm doing a residential search, I'm gonna need the residential form. So I'm gonna click on residential forms. It'll bring me into the document library. And then you're gonna see a folder for listing forms and you would click on and open up the residential listing input form here. Now, when you do that, that may open up in a program on your computer, like Adobe Reader, or it may open up in your browser. Now, if you go to adobe.com, you can download the Adobe Reader for free. Once you get this form on your computer, you can search the entire form and try to figure out what field goes with what criteria. And you can do this very easily by using the find function. So you'll either see a magnifying glass, or if you go up to the, the menus, there'll be a find in here, or there's a keyboard shortcut like control F, or if you happen to be on a Mac, it's command F. Regardless of how you go about it, when you open up the search field, you're going to see a little search bar up here. So this is gonna look through this entire document and it's gonna highlight the terms that I look for. So let's say we're looking for something easy like fence. So I type in fence and it's gonna highlight the first instance of fence right here. And it says, well, do you mean child safety fence? No, actually we want a fence around a house. So I'm gonna hit enter again and it'll highlight the next one and see, it actually highlights fenced. So I know that if I wanna add fence to my search, I have to add in exterior features as, as the category and then pick the option for fenced. So now that I know that, let me go ahead and go back to matrix. So I'm gonna go back to matrix here. I open up my search down at the very, very bottom. I go into add additional fields. In this case, this would be exterior features. So I'm gonna type in exterior or just start typing it. And once I add that in there here, I go back to my search and then that category is going to be all the way at the bottom of my search. And now from exterior features, I can now pick fenced. Now what's neat about adding additional fields is once you add them in there once, they're going to stay there forever. So I never ever have to add in additional uh, exterior features again. It'll already be in there. All right, well, I hope that helps you. Now you can keep a copy of this form on your desktop and then use it as a cheat sheet and, that, and it will always be available to you in the future.